Hello. If you want to support us here at The Contemporary Gentleman, you can buy into our spy series, links below. And depending on when this was recorded, we may or may not have an Instagram and or Patreon. Uh, if we do, links are below. Cheers. <laughs>
can't really see it much better than Pistol Vampire. Maybe a little bit. But, uh, again, comparing it to the regular Scout, I mean, that's about the same. So, anyway, for whatever that all that's worth, Jumping right in the meat and potatoes, um, again, I'm focusing on the 640 variant uh, Pro rifle lights, and I'm not doing the 3, 340 variants, and also I am going to do X300s, but that's going to be a separate video. I'll probably even wear the same shirt for some level of uh, continuity. Anyway, uh, so we've got the dual fuel, which is called that because it can either take the Surefire rechargeable battery, which I never use, or the, or two, one, two, three alpha batteries, which are all that I use. Uh, and of course, it'd be the same with the other two. The turbo version also takes two variants, and then uh, I guess the vampire doesn't. But what's the point of them? Well, the regular version, which I don't have in front of me, it is kind of more of a wider beam pattern. It doesn't reach as far. It's kind of more your let's uh, kick doors in in this warehouse and so you can see a big room really good but you can't necessarily see far away very good. Also, um, it's going to have more lumens. Uh, of course, I'm going to pop up right here how many lumens it has because I don't remember at the moment. Uh, I want to say it's 1,000, 1,200, something like that. Um, and then the Candela, which I'm also putting up there with it, it's not going to be as much. Now, going to, I would say the next step up really would be the Vampire. i kind of been talking about the Turbo after the regular. Uh, the vampire. So vampire means it's going to illuminate in the infrared spectrum, which of course I'll roll in footage of. So um, one of the things I like about the vampire, side note, is that it has an off setting. So you can have it in white light or uh, IR or off, which is in the middle. And I like that feature because uh, negligent discharges of white light or really negligent discharges of any kind are very bad. So, helps defeat that. Now, um, if you don't have the, the head where you got an offsetting and because you got one of the other ones, you can rotate the back portion of it and basically negate that anyway. I just like the click. Uh, now, next, we of course have the turbo on my Spear LT here. And the turbo is, um, I don't know, they should have called it like the bass, bright as shit or something like that. Because it is just... Now, the point of the turbo is... It has what uh, high candela, which is kind of the focus of the beam. And so it reaches out super far, does not come out to the sides as well. Now we're going to talk about that. We've got some footage regarding that. Um, so when you look at all these, you might find it hard to figure out which one do I buy. It's hard enough to kind of narrow it down from all the lights Surefire offers in the first place. But me, I like the Pro Series, and I like for a rifle having as big a flashlight and powerful as possible. So that really narrows it down to these three. Um, they're all going to be, uh, or as I said, the two of them are going to be dual fuel. The other one I don't believe runs under dual fuel, but that's fine. Now, um, let's start with Vampire because it's pretty easy to decide. If you were ever going to use night vision, and, and I'll, I'll say in the next five years, if you think you're going to be using night vision, or you have a friend who's night vision, loans it to you a lot, there is a lot of pros to the Vampire version. Um, if you're never going to use night vision, if you don't think you ever will, or you already have a vampire or something else, don't get it. It's, it is expensive. It's definitely, it's, uh, I'm going to say it's the most expensive out of the three. So, um, you know, understand that. That said, it has, <laughs> the vampire ones have some interesting attributes when it comes to the candela and how they shoot forward. So... That's where I say, if you think you might get some night vision, it may be worth it just to go ahead and get this. Now, I'm a big proponent of uh, minimalist. Unless you got a lot of money or a lot of use for a lot of guns, um, I just have two ARs, which I know, I, I don't know how I feel about putting that out on the internet, but um, I just have two ARs. One's a 300 blackout with specific skill sets. The other one is a 5.56 with specific skill sets. And so... Um, 
I guess where I'm going with that is if you have a rifle devoted to night vision, there's your light right there. Um, I, I think you'd be good with that. Anyway, um, moving back to the uh, Pro, or excuse me, the dual fuel versus the dual fuel turbo, right? This is where it's getting a little harder to choose. I'm going to roll in some footage and talk about it. But what I tested was we know the dual fuel can't do everything the turbo can do in terms of the turbo can hit a 300 yard target. I could see it with not great vision uh, and then plus when I put my glasses on, I could see 300 meter target with the um, turbo shining down range. It's not great camera work. I could have fiddled with the settings a little more maybe, but uh, cameras just don't deliver the the right lighting. So you're going to see some of these and unfortunately I wish I made very sure that the camera was always in the same setting it may not have been. So you're just going to have to go with my words but to make it more interesting I have to roll in footage um, and show the occasional pictures and things like that. So um, the the regular dual fuel is not anywhere near hitting <clears throat> the 300 yard target and an angle which shooting from the 200 to the 300 um, would even close. Now what's crazy is the Vampire was actually reaching out pretty far. Now compared to the turbo and the regular dual fuel, the Vampire just didn't quite have the reach side to side that either one had, but I was still impressed of its ability to reach out there and hit that target uh, at 300 yards. And I want to say it did it at the angle as well. Now, moving it back to 200, which is a little bit more realistic for night engagement. Um, yeah, 300 was really to see the the, the far limit. Um, but 200, the uh, the dual fuel is acceptable, but I have to say, um, at those ranges, I wouldn't even consider the dual fuel. I would look right at the turbo and or the vampire. Those would be my two lights of choice. Now, moving back to where I was in a uh, more of a, a closed setting with some berms. Uh, really the distance I don't think was even up to 50 meters, uh, if you know, if that. What I did was I had a target, as you'll see in the pictures in the footage, way forward dead center. I had one a little bit off to the right, one close off to the left, and then one far off to the left. And so what I was trying to see was how each one you know, cut through everything to the end, which was very well and then uh, which uh, they all did that but then also what am I seeing off to the side because sometimes you like with a turbo where it's very front focused it may spill enough to the sides to where your eyes can still pick up especially if there's something to reflect off of um, there was a little bit of that I would say that when you're talking that medium range the turbo did not perform as well as the regular dual fuel so if you're some dude, like let's say you're on SWAT in the city, where you're really not going to hit those farther engagements, you may consider the regular dual fuel. Or if you already have one, don't rush out and buy a turbo. Now there is a caveat to that, which we will get to. Um, so then bringing it in really close, right, to basically the room I film in, that's what you're going to see. I wanted to see, um, so it's, it's actually like aiming this way down this room instead of this way. But I wanted to see how much spill there was back, right? So you're in a tight room, and so you um, so you come up and you hit it. Are you going to see things off to the side very well? You know, is it what are the what are the photons doing as they bounce around the room? Are they helping you? Are they hurting you? Um, you know, is one better than the other? And that's where again, really, in the turbo was at the point where. It was illuminating it plenty. I, it'd be really hard for me to imagine a scenario where you're going to take the dual fuel over the turbo when you compare all these things. So from super close range all the way back out to the 300 yards, the turbo did most everything. And it did the thing it didn't quite do, it still kind of did it. Whereas the dual fuel, the non-turbo, it was not performing at a far distance, and other than so one scenario where it outpaced the turbo, it didn't really outpace it anywhere else. So it didn't perform in one aspect at all, 
Um, it kind of performed, did perform, performed about the same. And then the turbo performed about the same, working it back out. Um, kind of performed, performed, performed. So when you're tilting the scales, it goes in the favor of the turbo a little bit. Now, the other area that we have to consider, which I'll roll in some footage of, is how this kind of stuff cuts through um, light. And so I'll roll in a little bit of footage here of cutting through different types of light. And so I'm going to compare the, obviously the dual fuel, the turbo, and the vampire. Ultra, or the regular dual fuel, so again, it looks way better on camera, but I guess, again, it's all of them being matched evenly, so, you know, I mean, you can see stuff, but I'll be curious how much more the other two cut through. Uh, I would imagine the turbo in this case is going to be insane, but we'll find out. Alright, so... Got our vampire here. It actually cuts through better than the regular for sure. Um, there's no question about that. You can probably see that in the footage as well. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get around in my backyard, well lit for my neighbors to see. So trying to be quick about the rifle part. All right, now the turbo. I actually just moved the batteries from the regular into the turbo. So now you can see exactly what all we're dealing with. That is cutting through. Um, debatably, one could almost say too bright. So. Anyway, again, waving a gun around in front of my house out back of my house where my neighbors can see so um, cutting this don't want it to be too long okay so I've been messing with settings on the camera here is the vampire again this is basically facing the opposite way of the camera I'm trying to get out of the way best I can and this is obviously in front of the camera so but the naked eye I'm actually seeing a little better in the camera than I am the naked eye but uh, all that said, I mean, for the most part, I can see stuff straight ahead. Now there's a bit off to my left, which you can't see. It's in a mechanical room. Um, I'll talk about that later. So next. Is... So next, that was the vampire, as I said. Next is the regular Surefire uh, Scout. So, 1,000 lumens, etc., etc. So... Boom. Oop. Boom, there she is. And in front of. Now, I can kind of see that there's a safe door sticking out from my mechanical room. I can see the safe door better than I did a minute ago, but honestly, this isn't illuminating that room. Um, it's definitely hotter right in front, brighter to the sides than the vampire. But as we've established, the vampire is going further, which is kind of interesting about it being center hot. So. Turbo next. So turbo behind. 
turbo in front, very defined center dot. Um, and I'm seeing off to the side, kind of similar to the vampire. I might shine the vampire one more time to double check. But, uh, yeah, I mean, with the naked eye, you know, honestly, the way lumens are bouncing around, I think this is acceptable. So, having said that, try the vampire one more time here. So, well, in the forward. Oh yeah, I see the safe door to my left the least good with this one, so. And why is that? Well, again, it comes back to the candela. There's such a focused pattern of power cutting through that the photons coming this way, hitting the photons this way, they're just getting overpowered. It's like, uh, I don't know, I was going to come up with some silly analogy, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it just, I don't know, we'll go with the Grandma's Boy reference, like Tyson fighting an infant. Uh, if you shot these two lights at each other, that turbo is just so much more powerful when it comes to cutting through light. And I actually have, uh, in that footage, for good reason, a fair amount of lights on just to make it harder for that turbo to cut through, and yet it does. And so, as you can see, you know, the vampire, as you can see how it performed. Um, so all things to consider. So if, if you're absolutely not going to do night vision, I think the turbo is the way to go. Now again, if you're a SWAT dude and you're not worried about cutting through too many photons, I think that dual fuel is right for you. You're you're in shorter distances, your engagements look different, you're, you're not just your engagements, but your, um, what's the term I'm looking for? It's also named movie. Uh, escalation of force, rules of engagement. Um, <laughs> you know, Romati may want the turbo, you know, shooting down a long path, or uh, excuse me, a long street, even though you're in an urban area, versus if you're a SWAT dude, you're probably focused on one building, you're probably not worried about two buildings over, you know, whatever. So again, it just depends on what you think your use case scenario is going to be. Back to the vampire, I think it it does an impressive job. Like, I, I can look at paper, I knew it had more candela, but it's, it's not that much more. So for it to perform that much better, it's just what really surprised me, um, and actually makes it kind of my second pick if you think you're ever going to touch night vision. Um, it's okay to not see something at 300 yards if you're kind of finding the best of both worlds there. Now, from the IR perspective, that's a whole different spectrum, a whole different array of lights that you could look into, um, but this right here. Now, what I am going to tell you is, of course, it wouldn't surprise me if this became popular to do one day, but I don't recommend having like two of them or three of them. Just have one light, get good with it, be comfortable with it, understand these all have limitations, and if you understand that limitation, you're gonna be okay. Um, now, let's get into caveats and variables. So one of the caveats and variables is, um, so in the case of the turbo, right, where I was saying from medium range, it's, you know, wasn't as good as the dual fuel. And so let's put her up here. And then here's what you can do if you don't think you can see to the side very well. You can move. So, um, you heard it here first. You can move your body slash gun slash weapon light. Crazy, I know. Now, let's do talk about the vampire for a moment here because it is kind of the odd one out. Some people might say, especially if you have something like a laser aiming module slash IR illuminator, why would you need the Vampire? Why does it exist? Well, for one, if you're rocking civilian equipment, your illuminator might not be that good. But here's what you have to understand is this particular rifle setup is set up for passive aiming, right? It's got the GBSR, uh, GBRS mount there. Um, yeah, no, don't freak out. I'm trying it, and I might like it. And then if you want to freak out and whine about what I'm putting on my own guns, go for it. Um, but at least right now I'm trying it out. So, uh, at the end of the day, I may need a little bit of extra push. So, the point of this gun is to keep the weight down and keep it simple. So, one light, one optic, no magnifier, no lamb, uh, none of that. So. If I need a little bit of extra juice as far as being able to see into a shadowy area or something like that, right, um, I can just pop this baby on an IR. 
I can see. The other thing is, um, again, depending on the status of your illuminator, especially if you're um, not spending as much money, which that's not a dig, that's just, if you're trying to save some money and you're going with a lower power uh, lamb or illuminator, then you may need, it may be nice to have some extra juice. Plus for the features that I talked about, the, um, the vampire you, has an offsetting and the candela is still impressive. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, that's why you might do the vampire. All right, so that just about sums it up. I uh, kind of wanted to talk use cases because sometimes I like to tinker and look at products and figure out what the differences are and why you use one of the, over the other. And I know there's a lot of people that don't like to do that on their own, partly because it can cost them money and or time. So uh, if you're not into that and my video is helpful to you, good, good, I'm glad. Uh, once again, last thing I'm going to talk about is price. And of course I'll put the prices right up here where I like to put things. Uh, that I either forget or screw up and so Price can of course dictate now. I know I'm aware there are Streamlight products and some other products I'm not even gonna mention brand names of other products Streamlight is the only one I kind of accept. I don't like the rifle lights. I think uh, One pistol lights, okay. I think the other one's great um, And it's not the light itself. I think the switching for the rifle lights leaves a lot to be desired uh, That said I've carried a Streamlight before, and it was a great rifle light, but I was using a surefire switch. So, um, just something to think about. Now, uh, again, pricing, consider this. As I said, I'm a proponent of one gun or two guns, uh, AR-wise. So, you know, if you have eight ARs, yeah, I'm not suggesting you buy eight turbos or vampires or whatever. Um, but, you know, Check it out, try it out, all that. Now the clothes. Overall, I think it is important to have a light on a fighting rifle uh, and of course pistol, but that's a different video. Now, what kind of light is gonna come down to you? Uh, I understand wanting to save some money going with a different brand, but if you were interested in which one of these you would spend money on if you wanted to go the surefire route, then hopefully this video was helpful. This has been James Donaldson with The Condemnbury Gentleman, and until next time, keep your composure.